What's going on guys? I got a pretty cool video planned for today. I'm gonna try and see what's the most effective 22 long rifle round out of the rounds I have. And to do that I've got 10 plywood boards here. So I'll just shoot them one time with each round and then compare the penetration. And I'll be using my Ruger 1022. We got 10 half inch thick plywood boards. I think that'll be enough to stop any 22 round that I have. So I've brought out 21 different kinds of bullets that we're going to use in this test today. Some of these I don't think they even make them anymore. I got the Winchester Super Speed, the Browning BPR, the CCI Mini Mag Swamp People Edition, 36 grain hollow points, the American Eagle 38 grain hollow points, the Remington Cyclones, CCI Stinger, CCI Mini Mag 40 grain, Remington Golden Bullet, Agia Interceptors and Agia Super Maximum Hyper Velocity, Agia Subsonic, the Agia Super Extra High Velocity, and the Agia Target Competition, and then the Winchester Subsonic 42 Max, the Winchester 26 grain 10 hollow point, the Winchester PowerPoint 42 Max, the Agia 60 grain subsonic sniper, 22 blazer, the Federal 325 round bulk pack, the Browning BPR bulk pack, and the Federal 36 grain hollow point bulk pack. So that's 21 different types of ammo I'm going to be using. So let me know in the comments what one of these rounds do you guys think will penetrate the most. I think it's either going to be the Agia Interceptor or the Agia Super Maximum. But there's only one way to find out. So let's go ahead and get started with our test. Alright, we're going to start out with our Federal Bulk Pack rounds. And I'm going to be shooting from only about 5 yards away. So we'll just hit the board once with each round I have. And then we'll take a look at the results afterwards. Here goes the Federal Bulk Pack. Next up, Remington Golden Bullet. As I take lower shots, I'm going to crouch lower so we can have a straight line impact with each shot. Up next, CCI Mini Mag. 40 grain round nose. Now Winchester Super Speed. Next up, Browning BPR. And now, the 22 Blazer. Next up, Winchester 42 grain power point. A Gia subsonic sniper. I've read that these aren't good for a Ruger 1022 that they tumble. Well, let's see what happens anyways. Next up, CCI Stinger. Winchester Super X 26 grain 10 hollow point. Agia 40 grain subsonic. The Agia Interceptor. And now, Agia Super Maximum. Next up, the Winchester Subsonic 42 Max. And the 22 Cyclone. Agia Target Competition. Agia Super Extra High Velocity, American Eagle 38 grain copper plated hollow point, and now the Browning Bulk Pack, Federal 325 round bulk pack, and the last round I brought out to test today, the CCI Mini Mag 36 grain copper plated hollow point. Smells like some fresh cut wood over here. A bullet just fell out of the side as I moved the block. Not sure what one it is. One last chance to guess which one penetrated the most. I'm still going to place my bets on either the Interceptor or the Super Maximum Hyper Velocity. Here's all our entry holes. That's 21 different types of rounds I used. Now let's see the results. All of them went straight through our first board. And straight through our second board. Board number three. 
And we have rounds stopped on the back of board number three. There's one, two, and that's it, just two. Actually, there's one here that didn't even make it through. Just lodged into board three right there. So we got three rounds that failed to make it through three. Actually four, here's another one up top. So four out of 21 rounds stopped on board three. And those rounds were the Agia target match, the Winchester 42 grain subsonic, and the Browning bulk pack. And surprisingly to me, the Winchester super speed advertised at 1300 feet per second. So that's what was all caught on the back of number three. And right here on the front of number four, there's two more rounds, which are the 22 Cyclone and the 22 Blazer. And here's the Blazer that was caught on the front of number four. And the Cyclone also caught on the front of number four. And some of the rounds that stopped on board three put dents on number four. The Winchester Super Speed put a pretty big dent on the surface of number four, but was caught in the back of number three. And then we also have a dent from the 42 grain subsonic. Not quite as big of a dent as the Super Speed. There's another bullet just sitting in here. Can't tell which one it is since it wasn't stuck in the wood. But here's the back side of number four. And we got another bullet stuck right here. All right, so the vast majority of our rounds all stopped in board number four. Some of them further in than others. I dug 11 different rounds out of board number four. And the first round recovered from the back of number four was the Federal 325 round bulk pack. And then the Winchester 42 grain power point. And to my surprise, the Agia Interceptor also stopped on the back of number four. Then we had the 26 grain tin hollow point, which is just slightly bent. It didn't expand like the other lead bullets. And then the CCI stinger also caught in the back of number four. And the BPR high velocity rounds, not the bulk pack. And also the CCI Chewdum Swamp People edition, 36 grain. And another surprise to me, I thought it would have been caught earlier was the Agia 60 grain subsonic sniper. And then the American Eagle 38 grain hollow point. And then the Agia copper plated high velocity round. This one was embedded in the center of number four. It was kind of hard to dig out. Most of the rounds I recovered were in the very back, making them easier to dig out. This one was stuck in the very center. And the last one recovered from board number four was the Remington golden bullet. And that's the back of number four after digging the bullets out. And here's board number five. We have two dents with bullets are, that are missing. Those are probably the two that fell out. So this one was actually the Federal 325 round bulk pack. And this one was the CCI Mini Mag 40 grain. The Fed 325 round was actually embedded in the back of number four though. But it did put a pretty good dent in number five. And then we have a dent from the American Eagle the 42 grain power point, the Swamp People Mini Mag, just a tiny little dent, and the Subsonic Sniper with the tiniest dent on board number five, the BPR High Velocity with a pretty big dent, and the Stinger and the 26 grain 10 hollow point, both with a similar size dent. And over here, the Agia Interceptor with what appears to be almost the biggest dent, the BPR High Velocity its dent is actually slightly bigger. So I was wrong, the interceptor was definitely not the best. And we actually had no penetrations through board number five. So that means what other rounds I haven't found yet are embedded inside number five, which would be the super maximum hyper velocity. And I think that's it. Yep, so the only round to actually make it inside board number five was the Gia super maximum hyper velocity. And I wasn't able to dig it out without breaking it into small pieces. That's the majority of it right there. Because it was embedded pretty much dead center in the board. There's hardly even a bulge on the back. And there's absolutely no dents whatsoever on board number six. So it appears the winner in terms of plywood penetration was the Agia Super Maximum round. Although we did get some pretty good dents on board number five. The Browning BPR, high velocity, CCI Stinger, Agia Interceptor, 
and even the 26 grain tin hollow point. But the super maximum embedded itself in the center of board five, making it the winner in today's test. And here's all the bullets recovered from the wood. But you also have to keep in mind this was from only about four or five yards away. So practically point blank range. So most likely our lighter bullets like the Super Maximum and the CCI Stinger would slow down faster than the heavier bullets. So at further ranges our heavier bullets would probably penetrate more. So anything past 100 yards I still bet the Agia Interceptor will have the most penetration. But up close it appears our super maximum hyper velocity is the winner in terms of plywood board penetration. Let me know, did you guys guess right about what would penetrate the most? I was actually surprised some of our rounds went as far as they did and some of them didn't. But this isn't really a 100% accurate test because there could have been knots somewhere in the center of the boards which helped slow down some of the rounds. And let me know if there's any other kind of 22 rounds you guys want to see me test. And we'll continue the quest to find the most effective 22 long rifle round by testing all these rounds on various other materials like concrete and whatever else you guys want to see. But this was a really fun test. I definitely enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And also, if you can, check out my Facebook page. But that's all for now. And until next time, thanks for watching.